Mama Decker Homes. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it's a subdivision in uh, Talamo, uh, up from Puan. And uh, we're just a few kilometers from where we're staying at the subdivision before, down at Magrande uh, Resort. Now, these places are remarkable places. This particular place, uh, Decker Homes, has got a few phases about it. Uh, this is a nice little poster here. Uh, it's got a security area here. And everyone coming in uh, gets checked. Uh, all the taxes get checked. And uh, so it's a very, very secure place. And I'll tell you what, it's really worth vlogging. And so I've come out and I'm gonna show you around. All right, let's get into it. Let's have a look at uh, Talamo, or Decker Homes, Talamo. All right, we'll go across the road gotta watch out because there are pr plenty of machines flying around here all right uh, now the first thing you're going to notice is that uh, you got security up there you know checking everyone coming into the subdivision and uh, it is a bit of a walk to get into the subdivision so I just quickly take you down the main road it's like a little highway and Oh, it's, it's quite nice, but I tell you what, it's, it's long. So we'll take you down here and just show you how long this is. It's probably like half a kilometer to actually get in to the housing area. Yeah, well, this is about the midway point. Well, actually, it's not the midway point because we're just around this corner and look how far it goes. Yeah, it's going to take another five minutes to get to the other end there. It is a long, long way down here, this road. Uh, very nice. Uh, it's really well presented here. Uh, divided road. It's safe. Uh, no kids play around here because they've got plenty of areas uh, around the homes to play in. And the trikes. Yeah, the trikes are a real specialty here. Everything revolves around trikes. Uh, they're the main form of transport and they come in all sorts of forms. Hello! Look at that. That's groovy that one. That's cute. I haven't seen one that small. And, and, and that, that one's pretty quiet. Alright, let's get the, the rest of the way into Decker Homes because I really want to show you around. There's some good things to see around here. Yeah, plenty of staff around here to keep the place beautiful. So here's the guys just working away, keeping in the garden. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we've come to the end. At a bit of a walk. And I'll tell you what, in the heat of the day, it's, uh, yeah, very, very uh, scorching. The heat here uh, does get to you, but that's why I've come out sort of in the late afternoon and there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of people around. And that's when people do come out because it's just too hot during the day. So one of the, one of the first things you come to after coming down, down the main road is uh, this little station here. This is the, the terminal uh, where the trikes and the taxis are uh, going to pick you up. Now, the transport system here is totally awesome. So uh, Decker, Decker Homes is set on 100 acres. It is a massive, massive place. It's got so many homes, and you'll see in this video, there's got a lot more that's getting built. But anyway, this is the terminal here, uh, and they take you to pretty much anywhere in the local area. Uh, and the taxis, well, th these guys take you out to the main gate. They take you to the surrounding areas. But if you want to go further, like down to the malls and that uh, in Davos City, uh, you've got to get uh, a taxi. Uh, all right, so here's the, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello. And they, um, so people wait. Uh, it's only a few pesos to get out to the front and wherever you're going. So dirt, dirt cheap. And they just sit in here, wait till the, wait till the trikes, you know, got a, a full load, and then they, then they go out. So yeah, trikes 24 by seven. They're here. They're ready to pick you up. They're ready to have a good. Hey! Yeah! Hey! 
Craig. Kapow! How are you? I saw you yesterday. Yeah. Uh, sorry I didn't come down because uh, it was too late. I um, I went to the shops okay. and uh, I got back too late. It got too dark. Uh, so I'm out today. It was raining. Yeah, and it was raining, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the rain here, it goes all day. Sorry, the rain doesn't go all day, but it's sunny all day and then it just hammers, hammers down. It, and then floods the whole area. And then we're back to normal the next day. So you only get a, an hour or two of rain, if that. Anyway, these are the, these are the guys for the terminal. Uh, which is your your vehicle? Which one? This one. Oh, this one here. Oh. So yeah, they're they're groovy little things. I do dig them severely. I mean, when you get in here, there's not a lot of room, but we are small people here in the Philippines. Um, so yeah, and it's the bike, and there's an area here in the front where you can fit two people. And I totally love these forms of transport. And I get a lot of them and they're really dirt cheap and economical. All right, I, I've got to keep going. Uh, I'll, I'll come back. Okay. But thank you very much for showing me you through your trike. Okay, all the best. Uh, I'll see you soon. All right. Okay, so yeah, the trikes, here they are. All lined up, ready to take you anywhere you want to go. And we have some street food over here if you're hungry. Music's blaring. This is a really good time to come out and, uh, and vlog, so. Plenty of action about, plenty of people about, plenty of kids. Hey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to interact with these people a fair bit. I have been over the last couple of days saying hello, but I, I'm going to love it uh, to vlog in this park because the people around here are beautiful, they're wonderful, and uh, I just wish I could stay here a bit longer. All right, uh, this, this is phase one. Uh, I'm staying in phase two and we'll get up there a bit later. I, I can't really go around the whole area, it's just too big and too vast. But let's have a look at what's happening here. What are we eating guys? Ah, uh, what, uh, what's this one called? Pastillo. Huh? Pastillo. Pastillo. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Uh, what's, what's inside? What's uh, uh, rice. Oh, it's rice. Chicken. Rice. All right, I'm getting hungry. It's not dinner time for me yet, but I'm, I might come down here and get a bit, a bit of this food. This is really popular here. All right. See you guys, see you guys later. Right. Okay, I'll quickly go into phase one because phase one is uh, fully developed. And one thing you've got to understand about this community is uh, it's just so friendly and happy. And they are permitted to set up businesses in the community. They're just not a housing estate or subdivision. They are a fully functional metropolis, really, in one area. You don't even have to go out. Uh, as we've got the chickens go, going around and around, I, I do see these ready for tonight. So I'm I'm going to get out here and, and try some street food tonight. But anyway, I did want to take you up here because uh, there's a, a restaurant up here that I've visited a couple of times, and it is pretty groovy. It's just got a top section, it's got music, and everywhere you go in the Philippines, they have music, and that's why I reckon it's a happy place because there's music going and it's it's my sort of music too and they play you know retro stuff um 80s 90s 2000s you know all the modern stuff and it's really a lot of fun and it sets the sets the scene sets the tone for just a happy happy environment so yeah we've got street after street people setting up little businesses there selling things like ice creams uh alcohol sold and uh this little place here we came up to is the restaurant Okay. Tanzanite pub. Yeah, it's a good cool little place upstairs. And I so I've eaten here. And uh, I tried I tried the hot dogs uh, last night. But and this chicken feet, yeah. Not a fan of chicken feet, but uh, it is a, I think it's a delicacy here. And uh, and the kebabs are going. It's good. It's pork. Uh, ah, pork? Fish. Oh fish, fish, yes, fish, yes, fish, yes, fish. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not hungry yet. Okay, uh, okay, bit, a bit later, <laughs> yeah. But can I go upstairs? Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, all right. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, in, in this way. All right, we'll go through Hi, this guys. way. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. Welcome to my guys. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, All right, hey. Hello. How are we going? Yeah, super, super friendly. All right, we're going to like just go up. Up these, they're pretty, they're pretty steep. Got to hang on. And, ah, here we are. There's people enjoying themselves already up here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just a good place to chill out, and you can see, yeah, they want to say hello, they want to be on camera. 
<laughs> Hello. I'll, I'll give him a card. There you go. Hello. All right. Hello. It's so so important to integrate uh, with the people, the, the people that you're um, staying with. All friendly, and this gives you a really good look on how big this place is. It's probably hard to see, but there's uh, lots and lots of houses around here. And actually, I, I want to take you down. So I think we'll go down to the new housing area and see what's going on down there before it gets too dark. All right, salamat. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah 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 oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got I got I got I dropped my cards and uh, um, I've got more I've got more here okay yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, the okay did, did, uh, did you take one did you take one yeah did you have one did you take one oh yes 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 all right <laughs> there you go all right oh uh, my vlogging card okay yeah. Bye -bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. Alright, we've got to get on, we've got to get out around this place before it gets too dark. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll be back. Bye, right. Blab. Welcome See to you. my guys. Okay. okay, thank you. I'll give it up in your card. There you go. Alright. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Mega friendly, uh, very accommodating, happy. It's just what you want around here. Yeah, as I said, there's so, there's so many business here. Oh, sorry, I just had to be. I've just been doing a bit of running, get my breath back because I just want to show you before it gets too dark. I've got a pharmacy here. So, how cool, how good uh, set up. I mean, there is absolutely everything hello, under the sun here. Hello. Everyone comes out in the street when the sun's going down. Uh, it's so nice here. I've, I've really connected with Davos City. I'm a little bit emotional about this place too because I've met some wonderful people. Uh, I've spent some time with them and it's just a lot of fun. Okay, let's get down to another area of Decker Homes. And this is nice down here. And you'll see they've got big plans for this place. I mean, it's big at the moment. Yeah, so we're coming into another section. They've got a a nice little river that runs through the area. The infrastructure here is excellent. And uh, there's so many uh, new areas being built along, along this river. And it is a nice area, it's quite flat, but it's uh, very easy to build here. And I saw the roads infrastructures here. And we're just going down to an area, if I've got enough time before it gets too dark to show you the brand new homes that they've built. When I came down here uh, to, to look at the other day, I'm just going, wow, this, this place knows how to look after their citizens, provide absolutely amazing shelters. And all this stuff here, all these houses, you notice they're very similar. Because they are. They have exactly the same shape. They're exactly the same configuration. They, they are prefabbed homes. They're pre-fabricated homes. So it's not just you build one single by single. You come in and you just erect a home and just put it together. So you can do it in, in weeks instead of months to build just a normal house, house. Yeah. All right, we're coming down to this section here and we've been walking around now for, oh, probably about 30 minutes already. So this is a massive, massive place. But um, you've got to see these new homes. They're, they're nice, really nice. All right. Hello. And you know, people have bought, I, I believe they're all being purchased and they're all being constructed and people are just coming in and putting their final touches to their, to their brand new homes. But look at this, another little waterway there. Uh, it's construction happening. And when this place is finished, it's gonna look Mickey Mouse. It's, oh, I mean, the phase one and the phase two is good. It's fully functional, people's shops are there. But yeah, here we go, there's um, brand new homes being built. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds of these homes. And I'll just take you down this street. 
So people just come in, they bought their home, and they're just doing it up. Hello! Just doing it up, they're just cooking away there. I mean, they've got no uh, cooking uh, infrastructure in there or capability. But look, that's just simple, just, you know, cook your food in, in your front yard while you're building your house. Uh, what could be easier and more satisfying? You got shelter during the night if it rains. Just bring a slip, or oh, you don't even need a sleeping bag here. The, the climate is just so warm. Just go in there and just live comfortably. Yeah. So here we go. Here's another, here's the rest of the street. And uh, I won't show you inside. It's, um, it is prefab exactly the same. And they've got little alley, little areas there where people can set up a little, and they've got a little backyard too. I'll quickly go in here and just show you because no one's in here. But there's a little section here and these little um, sinks, they've got outdoor kitchens. And I found, I'm saying this place has got an outdoor kitchen and it's exactly like this. It's all set up with barbecue there, got a water tank. I mean, just the, the basics, you know. Middlemas, yeah. Just being uh, little, middleized things. That's what it's all about here and uh, economy of scale. Yeah, so not a lot going on down here because they're all brand new homes. So There's really no one really living in them as such. We're coming to the end of the, that street now and we're coming to a, another area. So there's some more uh, single story homes that go all the way down there. There's streets off to the side and uh, they are just mirror images or identical homes. And uh, it's just so easy to, to put these things up and, and quick. So, it is getting too dark uh, for me to vlog the next section. So, I'm going to come back tomorrow and show you the rest of this place. Because this is only half uh, of what this place has got to offer. Because these, these are double story houses. There are hundreds of them. And they're all set up. They're very, very early stages of construction. Well, not early stages, they're, they're pretty much the structures up and they're just getting kitted out. But these are going to be wonderful homes, two-story homes, and it's really budget living. And that's what you want, get, getting people, getting the shelter, get them out of the, the, you know, the other areas where they don't have a good housing and provide this sort of housing. It is absolutely wonderful. Uh, thank you the mayor, Davos City, for arranging this for your citizens. Damn good job, mate. You're doing a damn good job. So uh, I take my hat off and, and congratulate you on a, on a very good job because you've got to look after the citizens and, and the housing is such, such an important uh, part of making them live comfortably. All right, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll show you the rest of it, yeah. There's a chance I might just go out tonight because that's when it does happen. Uh, it is well lit up places. We might go and um, to a restaurant. Look, I don't know. <laughs> it's all about just exploring, having a good time in a wonderful place and a place you have never seen before. Yep. This is the very early stages of uh, construction. All the foundations are going down. And that's what they are. All right, see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, g'day. Well, uh, yesterday we got to this point here. And actually, uh, I'm glad we came out today because yesterday was a, a holiday and we couldn't actually uh, see what was going on. But this is the construction going on in, in full swing. So we're here yesterday. But before we get into that, I did want to go back. I just want to wrap up a little bit on the um, yeah, on the bungalows, the, the single level ones, before we get into the, into the double story ones, uh, which are the townhouses. That's such a cool idea. And of course, uh, very economical to build. All right, we'll just go up, back up to the single level bungalows, because I, I want to try and get inside. I want to show you guys uh, how compact they are. They're, um, well, I believe that you need two lot sizes. I think there's 100 square meters and 80 square meters. So they're not, not particularly big. Uh, and then you can just put your standard uh, bungalow on there. But I really want to get inside one 
and show you one. So we're coming up to the new area of the bungalows. And uh, let's go inside, yeah, see if we can. Oh man, I feel so fortunate because I've, I've come up this road and no one's at home, of course, because they're all brand new and no one's sort of moved in. However, I found this place here, uh, a workman that's out the back, and I said, oh, can I have a quick look inside? And, and I'll go inside, just take the shoes off, and we'll just check these, uh, these bungalows out. These, this is where they're sort of brand new. There's people moving in, but we'll just go in and just look at the floors. These are tiled floors, shiny tiled floors. Uh, there's a bit of furniture in here, but this is the main, main area. And there is a cooking facility here, but most of the cooking facilities are actually outside, which we'll show you. Um, all right, so we've got a bedroom here. I don't think there's anyone in here, but I'll go to the second bedroom. So they're just two bedrooms. Oh, hang on, we've been let through. <laughs> That's good. Everybody's ready to help. Oh, it's locked. Okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. If it's locked, I'm not going to go in. And uh, we just have a simple bathroom here. This is all you need. Uh, so 100 square meters is the big size, the 80 square meters is a small size home, but you can put these homes on either either block and just have a bit more area at the front. But that's just a, a basic, plain, uh, pretty nice and very functional uh, little bathroom there. All right, and this is the, the main bedroom. Plenty of room, plenty of light, and oh, I could easily live in here, a place like this. Nice, small, and compact. And I'll tell you what, no carpets, and just a nice shiny floor, really easy to sweep. So uh, they, they, they've got everything right, Decker Homes. And we'll just quickly get out the back because you're building, um, I'm not sure, I'll find out what he's building, but I think I, I showed you that sink before, but that's very common and the watering tank, but this little area is all yours to put whatever you want. And people put like the cooking facilities out, out there mainly. And, um, and I've even seen around the side here, uh, people set up uh, some tables and chairs and that and have a little area and and they cover this as well to protect you from the rain so mate these are these are wonderful little homes and they're very very economical and look you know if you're interested uh, in the stats on these homes uh, I'll just show you them okay so the structure types known as a bungalow and on the regular lot it's 80 square meters and the house is 35.1 square meters. You can have a, a payment, a one-off payment of uh, 2.27 million pesos, or you can go for the monthly option for 25 years. All right, moving on to the prime lot, which is 100 square meters, and still the same structure, 35.1 square meters is the home. You'll be paying uh, 2.494 million pesos for that. And I believe they've got a, a, a bigger lot, which is 120 square meters and you'll pay 2.694 million pesos for that one okay so that's the home that's the bungalow uh just a quick squeeze round. we're going to get out of this guy's way so he can continue his work but i've got to say a big big salamar thank you, salamar. Thank you. Thank you. okay <laughs> he says welcome here we're always welcome here all right so that's the standard bung bungalow and uh i think we'll make our way back to uh the townhouses the double story ones and show you a bit what's going on there because there's construction going on there and i do like construction i like things that are, are active uh, action and uh, yesterday there's just not much happening so i'm glad i'm back today all right we're back at the the townhouse building area and it is going off there's plenty of work happening around here and uh i think we saw the foundation yesterday where they're just building away i've really got to find out how long it takes to build these things because these are amazing structures and they, they look like they're really comfortable. And we're gonna go around to the, the new ones in a minute just to show you, but here's the construction that's going on and it's all happening. This guy's just digging up a, a lot, you know, leveling it off. So it's all, it's all good. I won't spend too much time uh, in here, but just wanna prove that it doesn't stop around here. It does stop for holidays, but it doesn't stop for anything else. And there's a, a, another thing going on. Uh, it's just like a giant jigsaw puzzle. That's what I reckon. They, they pre-make all these. And we'll show you what's going on with actually the manufacturer of all this stuff. Because I found that particularly fascinating. But where we're going right now is to the brand new townhouses. Because they look sensational. Hello. 
Right. I just hope I don't get caught or asked, ah, oh, can you put the camera away? Because I really want to show people what this is all about. This is really good here. Some vent truck. It's just pouring straight in onto the concrete floor. This, this is great. This, oh, loving this. Uh, there they go. They put the floor in. I don't want to get in their way. Oh, yeah. And it just goes down that chute there into the floor. And then they set it and then they, you know, tile it. I mean, how simple. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, so here are the brand spanking new townhouses. Still plenty of construction work going on. And it's just incredible. But these, these are complete. These are ready to rock and roll. And people have probably bought them. And there's just so many of them. And no, no one's inside. Uh, I mean, it still is a construction zone. But you know, it doesn't matter if it's a construction zone, people can still come and, and live or at least get their houses, you know, fully decked out. So I do see that happening. Right, I've just found the door that's open, so I'm just gonna poke my head in there and poke the camera in there. Yeah, so that's the downstairs. And upstairs, I won't go upstairs. But they're compact. Actually, these are a lot more compact than the, the bungalows. Uh, I think they're 55 square meters, and for well, 38 and 55, I'm not too sure uh, the, the lot size. So they're actually smaller, but since they're, they're two story, uh, you, you've got some really good floor space area. All right, we won't go in, but uh, that's a quick peek inside well, one of the townhouses. Uh, but look, you know, if you're really interested uh, in other stuff, other stats uh, on these particular townhouses, uh, just check them out just here. For the regular lot, we're looking at 35 square metres and the floor area 38 square metres, which is 980,000 pesos. For the prime lot, it's 55 square metres and the same for the 38 square metres for the floor area. And that's only 1,039,000 pesos. If you want a corner block, that's 60 square meters, floor area of 38 square meters, and it's 1,068,000 pesos. All right, okay. Um, I, look, I do like information. I like accurate information. So I'm just trying to get my vlogs at a level where uh, there's, there's less sort of uh, propaganda and there's more facts. So it is, it is challenging. But, and I'm not always going to write, so bear with me, but that's one of my prime focuses is to make sure we get correct information out there for everyone to see. All right, talking about correct information, that's probably it on, on the structures, but I did want to show you, if I can get in there, uh, a special little place, because, man, I, when I came down the other day, there was nothing happening, and I did see what was going on over here, and I was gobsmacked. It was the manufacturing plant, yep. I just wanted to show you it in action today on a, a working day. So there's the crane lifting all the prefab panels. And uh, look, I, I'd like a job like this. It'd be a bit fun, a bit hot, but uh, a lot of fun. And you're actually doing a really good service, building a home for someone to live in. Now that would be such a satisfying job. There he goes. That's one of the corner pieces, I think, or one of the one of the divisions in this, all these divisions in, in each townhouse. And there's a division going up. Where, where is it gonna go? Nobody knows. Oh, this is good. I love this. Unreal orange peel, as I say. Ah, uh, this is cool. Oh, and they're waving. Hey? <laughs> I don't wanna go in um, because I just don't wanna infringe on their area, but um, I'm loving this. Actually, I might see to how far I can go in. See what they're doing with this slab with this corner piece i think they're just stacking it up like there's a lot one stacked up there uh ready to take out and to be assembled now wouldn't that be a treat if we could find a house getting assembled that would be awesome i'm going to try and find one because being a work day and there's plenty of cranes around and when you see cranes that means there's plenty of good good construction going on so uh, let's go around and find out if we can see one uh, actually getting put together. All right, we've got a crane over here. We've got a crane over there. Uh, let's see if they're building anything. Let's see if they're constructing any homes. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I think they just could be like uh, just depots where they're still building uh, parts of the, you know, the pieces uh, that go on the house or bungalows uh, or, or townhouses. Another crane over there. I mean, I could show you that, but I want to show you the walls. That's more the foundation that's happening over there. But I want to show you the walls, the roof. Hey guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, I could make a, a big long series or uh, just on Decker Homes down here, but I won't Because uh, some of you guys may not be into construction and things like that. I am I find it interesting But I expect not all my viewers will uh, will find this interesting Well, uh, uh, we're a bit unlucky here because the cranes uh, they were in these construction yards uh, just where they build all the panels and, and the pieces. Uh, it's not actually where they put the, the houses together. So unfortunately I can't show you any of that. So uh, before I wrap up this, um, this episode, and actually I'm, I'm going to have to wrap up the series here because I'm, I'm going to create another series in the Philippines. I'll tell you a bit more about that later, but uh, I just want to show you a bit more about around the area before we wrap it up. All right, I, I didn't show you guys um, much of the shops around here, so I'm just going to do a, a quick walk around and show you what's available here. The meat shop. Great. Hello. Hi. So you can get your, your butchery stuff here, meats. Uh, over here we've got ice creams, uh, water, uh, just a bit of food there. I mean, you don't even have to go out of this place to, to get good, you know, good products and, and actually live. Uh, rice for sale. So this guy is doing rice. Uh, wholesaler, wholesaler dealer, he's doing his rice stuff in there and uh, I think got a freezer there for ice cream, no it's just a counter that one but yeah he's doing, he's got eggs there so everything you need is right here and I'll just take you up to this shop that I, I go to just for my little bits and pieces alright as we go into an, another uh, shop we've got uh, just some hello, how are you? And we got. To, uh, look, I had to get some garlic the other day, and it's right here. We got some basic, uh, basic things. But what I do like is um, this packet. All these packet drinks. I, I'm living off this stuff every morning. I just buy a slab of. Um, I get the cappuccino slabs, and just buy me a pack of like 20 or 30 or as many as you want, even one. And uh, they're just great instant coffee. Get the day started. So you got all sorts of uh, packet stuff here. And anything you want, anything you need, it is there. And of course, the lollies for the kids. Like, th this would be one of the favorite places uh, for the kids to come, because they can see all the nice little lollies in that. All right, so uh, I thought I'd quickly show you that. And uh, maybe one more, uh, and then we'll, we'll move on. All right, now, I think we've got enough time just to squeeze in one more little shop around here. And look, it is an important shot to some people. Uh, because what it contains is alcohol, uh, cigarettes, uh, and other good goodies. But um, look, the one good thing about alcohol, uh, we can drink it here. Uh, it is uh, it's sold pretty much uh, in a lot of places. But you don't have to go outside the complex or the subdivision to get alcohol. So I come down here and get a you know a couple of red horses every now and again. And I tell you, that's a beautiful beer. But this one here is the shop I want to show you. It's got everything, and when you look inside, it's got all sorts of rums. I can't see any red, hello, I can't see any red horse, hi. Um, but it's got some little products there, personal products, uh, and cigarettes if you're into those, I think. Uh, yeah, don't smoke, don't smoke cigarettes if you can help. Um, all right, so that's this little shop. And um, it's very neat and tidy. And uh, well, we've got to move on because I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap this up at uh, one of my favorite spots in here. So let's go and do it now. Yeah, well, there's no other better place in Decker Homes, uh, Tolomo, than to wrap it up in the Tanzanite pub, yeah, which I'm at right now, uh, with one of my favorite drinks, which uh, I discovered, the San Miguel uh, flavored beer. It's a light beer, and it's apple flavored, and it is delicious. Mm. So uh, there's lemon, there's other sorts of flavors, but I do particularly like uh, apple. All right, so that is, uh, that is a subdivision. Absolutely massive, 100 square, uh, not 100, 100 hectares, I think it is. 100 acres, I've got to get it right. 100 acres, and it is all happening here. Uh, Decker Homes have got an amazing model for housing, 
Davos City residents uh, because they, they are here and they are in other places as well. But particularly here, I've noticed this, these subdivisions are absolutely massive. All right, so let me say, guys, get out there and live your dreams because I reckon this would be a dream that people would love to live. And actually, I'm, I'm considering getting something here because the people are friendly, the place is nice, it's got all the facilities, and um, I absolutely fell in love with it. And I've been here for a number of days. All right, bye bye, I'll see you in the next series. Okay, bottoms up. Ah, that's refreshing. All right, just hang on a minute, okay? If you want to hang around just for a minute or two, I'll just give you an update on, on what the next project is because I feel it's very important that you guys understand at the end of this series uh, what's coming up next. Because, um, as I said, I've been in the Philippines a few weeks now and uh, I've fallen totally in love with this place. I've been touched uh, by the places I've been and the people I've met. And I think I said uh, in my open, opening uh, video in Manila that I've got unfinished business here, and I, and I have. And after being at, uh, up at uh, Santa Juliana in the first few days of my stay here, I, I just could not help uh, wanting to help people out there. So when I came down to, to Davos City and, and spent quite a fair bit of time down here, met some wonderful people, I've met a special person who showed me around and um, I've just fell, fallen in love with this place so much. So I'm going to make this um, a little bit of a, a regular occurrence to come here. But the project I've got is to, to help village people um, up in the Mount, Minot Mount Pinatubo area. Uh, I just really can't understand, I can't get over the empathy that I'm feeling for this country. And not just the empathy, I just want to help. So this next project, I'm going to go up and help. Uh, tomorrow I'm flying up to Luzon and I'm meeting uh, with Alvin from Alvin's guest house uh, where I've stayed in Santa Juliana. And we're going to start a program up to help uh, unfortunate people and the villages out there. So I want you guys to come on this journey. I don't know how it's going to pan out, but I'm really excited. And I'll tell you what, it is one of those dreams that is really close to my heart that I, I just have to fulfill, is to help these people, all right, uh, lead a better life. All right, that's all I want to do. I want to wrap it up here. Uh, get out there and live your dreams. <clears throat> live your dreams. Yeah, I'm, I'm choking up already because uh, I'm a little bit emotional about this and I have had tears. So I've got to do this. I want to do this and I want to spend the time and a bit of money to help people that are less fortunate than me. All right, see you soon. See you in the next series. Bye.